Hello, I'm Aaron Marino from Alpha M Image Consulting. So, over the past few weeks, you have heard me casually mention that I've been working on and developing a new website called I Am Alpha M, a men's lifestyle and personal development zone. Well, beta testing has just concluded and we are on track for a January 1st launch. And not a moment too soon, because your boy Alpha, he needs a nap. I have been cranking out about 25 videos per week. At launch, there are going to be over 200 original videos. Not to mention I've been writing like crazy, because coming up with original content for a website that has 155 pages is not a minor undertaking. But lucky for me, I have found some unbelievably talented, creative, and hilarious writers to help me shoulder some of the load. Now, I'm not going to go into too much detail right now, but I Am Alpha M has in-depth style grooming, fitness, and relationship advice. Think of my YouTube channel as Alpha M 1.0. I Am Alpha M is like 3.0. I have no idea where 2.0 went, but <laughs> it's 3.0 stuff. Anyway, one of the sections in relationships is on dating, and a subcategory of dating is dating on the internet. And so I thought I'd give you guys a little taste of what to expect. So this first video you're going to see is on how to pick the perfect profile picture. Your profile picture is the number one biggest selling tool that you have on internet dating websites. Your profile picture can get people in the door, what you say next is going to keep them in the door. But you need to know what makes a good and what makes a bad profile picture. The first and most important rule when identifying which profile picture to use is use a picture of yourself that is current within the past 12 months. If I had a dollar for every fool who put a picture of themselves up that were light, when they were lighter, had more hair, better looking, younger, I would be a rich man. Let me tell you something. The idea is to actually meet these people, not just to get them to respond or agree to a date. So if you go out with them, all of a sudden they see you and you look like the person's older brother or father, you have just shot yourself in the foot. The date is pretty much over at that point because you lied. You misrepresented yourself. Women do it, men do it. But the problem is, is that we... There, that's the problem. Putting pictures up that are too old. Put a current picture up. That is the first thing you need to pay attention to. Your main profile picture should be a candid shot from the chest up. You should be smiling or smirking or looking off mysteriously in the distance, but no glamour shots. Do not pay to have professional pictures of you sitting there at your desk or on your Mercedes. Guys, that isn't getting it done. You want a picture that looks like it was candid, that it wasn't planned. Now, that profile picture may be just the most planned and perfectly precise placement of that finger as you could possibly imagine, but they don't need to know it. The main profile picture, like I said, it needs to be chest up, basically right here. You can show your body in other pictures. Okay, so we've got that great profile picture. Now let's talk about the other pictures that you have on the site because you need more than just your profile picture. How many do you need? Well, basically, I want you to have on your site a total of four pictures. The profile picture and three additional pictures. I don't want you being one of these people that has 20 pictures because the more pictures you have, the more chances there are for somebody who's viewing them to pick out something they don't like about you or to catch a bad angle or maybe you look like you have a double chin in one. We need to make these pictures as perfect as possible. So let's now talk about the three additional pictures you need. You need a picture that is a full body shot of you dressed casually with a pair of jeans on and I want them to be able to see that you're wearing jeans and a nice top. It could be a sweater, it could be a button up, it could be a puller, you decide. Shoes also, I want to see those and I want them to be stylish as well. I want the picture to be as casual as possible without looking posed. So I don't want you sitting there on your front stoop, one knee up with your golden retriever next to you. That is not casual, that is a posed picture. We want to stay away from posed pictures when at all possible. The other picture I want you to have is going to be you dressed up a little bit more with a tie, a shirt, and a sport coat on possibly. The reason for this, I want them to be able to picture you in an environment that is a little bit more upscale. You might work as a mechanic, but you still need a picture that is you all dressed up. And the third picture is a casual picture of you with friends. But these friends can't be attractive women. A lot of guys I work with and I see use pictures of them standing next to a really hot woman. This picture might be their sister, it might be their daughter, but they've got this picture. 
That doesn't work. What happens is the person looking at this picture will see this attractive person and they are going to focus on that person and not you. They're going to be judging themselves against this attractive female or male that's on your arm. So if they are more attractive than the person on your arm, they're going to think they can do better, that you have to sort of go for the bottom of the barrel type of people. Or if the person standing next to you is super hot and young and just attractive, they're going to be intimidated and not contact you, think that you're not going to be attracted to them. So you need a casual full body, you need a professional looking picture, and you need a social picture of you standing hanging with friends. But you're saying to yourself, Aaron, I don't have these four perfect pictures. What should I do? Great question. What you should do is get a friend and spend the day taking these pictures. Pre-plan what you're going to be wearing, where you're going to be standing, who you're going to be with. But I'm telling you, having great profile pictures is going to be the key to your success. It is going to improve your internet dating experience tenfold. Don't be one of those people that just runs to the mall and holds a rose and think that's going to get it done. It's not. You need to be methodical and specific in picking the pictures that you use to attract all of the lovely people that are going to be banging at your door trying to go out with your ass. All right, so you've got the perfect profile picture picked out. Pup, 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 pup. <laughs> Too many peas. All right, but now you've got to identify and write, create even, the perfect profile headline. Your profile headline will make or break your first impression. A good headline will get them to look. A great headline will get them to contact you. But a bad headline, they're all on to the next one. The headline needs to be simple, concise, and fun. Not overly dramatic. My heart beats in anticipation for your touch. And nobody likes overly mushy. I'm a guy who likes baskets of kittens and long walks on the beach and fluffy clouds. <clears throat> Overly self-confident. If you're looking for the man, look no further. Or overly vague. What is love, anyway, other than a four-letter word? Your profile headline needs to be something fun, simple, and creative. But you're saying to yourself, I'm just not a creative guy. I just get all nervous when I don't know what to write. Don't worry, amigo. Alpha's hooked it up. Below you will find a list of 20, over 20, perfect profile headlines for you to pick from and use. Because at I Am Alpha M, we are taking the guesswork out of getting you successful at internet dating. Take it from my personal experience. Take it from my experience from helping all these guys with their internet dating profiles. We have it down to a science. Use one of ours. They work. If you don't, if you want to create one and run it by us, send us an email. We'll help you out. Guys, the bottom line is that we want you to be as happy, healthy, and successful in the dating world as possible. <laughs> That's right. We have done something that I feel is incredibly creative and cutting edge. We have created galleries of perfect profile headlines for you to use. Not to mention, even better than that, we have created perfect profiles. We've written the whole thing for you guys. You go in, find one you like, plug in some information about yourself, or leave it just the way that it is. We have created them to basically be cut, copy, paste, and go. I've helped hundreds of men internet date successfully. I have a 100% success rate. These headlines and profiles are time-tested and proven to work. We've also come up with a system of crafting perfect contact emails plus the all-important subject line of that email. Not to mention we go into extreme detail of how to read between the lines. Reading somebody's profile and deciphering what's fluff and what's reality. Because let me tell you something, gentlemen. If they say that they are athletic in tone, this generally means they are 20 pounds overweight. Dude, but internet dating is just one small aspect of relationship section. We also help you date without the computer. We have categories for married men, for partnered men, for divorced men, for single men, for straight men, for gay men. Basically, unless you're self-pollinating, we've got a category and a section that is designed to help you. So whether you need a great first date idea, or you need a great tenth date idea, or you need something that will spark the intense fire of desire in your wife, Alpha and friends have hooked it up. 
The ultimate goal of I Am Alpha M is to help all of us be happy, healthy, and most importantly, confident. Because confidence, gentlemen, is what it is all about. And I know there's not one thing that I can say or do or teach you that is going to basically, boom, instill confidence. But it's working on all these little areas of our lives, getting us feeling great about who we are. This is the essence of confidence. And next week, we may be talking about custom pants. It all depends on if they get here by then or not. But until next, we meet my fashion-forward friends. Be good to yourself. Bye-bye.